everybody and welcome to Investment Honey where we talk about various crypto projects. Before we begin, I want to let you know that I am not your financial advisor. I do not provide financial advice on the channel and I don't even encourage you to invest. But what I am going to do is share with you my own personal opinion and views on the projects discussed on the channel. With that said, we're looking at punks and guns. Uh, so we see that they've got a number of different links you know, up here in the navigation bar. The chart does not work because the chart is not live. So that makes sense, uh, but we will go ahead and navigate the rest of the links as we do our walk around of the project. We can see right here that for punks and guns, the ticker is going to be PNG. It says the biggest blockchain shooter and pre-sale coming soon. So I do like the, art, the artwork and the graphic here in the background gives it a little edge. So you can also win a whitelist spot. You can do that through their sweep widget or in other ways, you know, through their community channels. And so this was just particular to their Telegram channel. We've got some other useful links. The audit, uh, this link is not live yet because it hasn't been completed yet. But we do see that they are looking to acquire a certain audit. Now, if you've seen any of my other videos, you understand that I believe that projects should have at minimum two different audits and certainly of those two, one must be a top tier or tier one audit. Certic does meet that requirement. So we also see that there's a pancake swap link, but obviously that wouldn't be live yet because it's not tradable. And their link tree, you know, so that's just right here. So this is what their link tree page looks like. So, all right. And then we see the live chart again. It's not live yet and the liquidity lock. So uh, that's the link for that, but it doesn't give us a direct link, you know, to uh, that lock, just to the deeplock.io website. So uh, on the roadmap, you guys know that I love a good roadmap, you know, so I like how clean, you know, the site is. And so this is pretty easy to read in phase one of 2022. We're looking at brainstorming the center of the team, smart contract development, private sale recruitment website. And actually, you know, um, just as we talk about, you know, private sale, the private sale has already ended. It shows, you know, trusted people, you know, for that sale. Um, I can also tell you, since we're talking about the sales, uh, pre, uh, the pre-sale is going to be on pink sale. There has not been a date confirmed yet at the time of this recording. The minimum for that as far as the pre-sale is going to be a 0.1 BNB, and then the max is going to be 1 BNB. Um, obviously, we've already talked about the, the, the whitelist, and that's going to be the sweet you know, widget. Um, you know, so, again, just wanted to go ahead and you know, touch on those things, you know, since we did mention, or since I did mention the private sale recruitment. Website V1, GFX, 3D model development, teasers, and sneak peeks. All that's going to be here part in, you know, a part of phase one. Private sale failed. Um, you know what, again, that's already been done in, 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 uh, in phase one here and in the whitelist marketing. What I would like to see is just another nice little detail is that once they finish, you know, once you guys have finished things on the, on your, um, roadmap i'd like to see something that either you know strike out you know in in, you know, in what's been completed or a check mark or something of some kind that would indicate that you know what hey uh, progress has been made and you know what's been completed and what hasn't been completed it just really makes roadmaps roadmaps easier to read uh, when those small details you know are associated with the roadmaps um i would like to also know you know at one point in you know this year um phase one obviously you know we're in phase one right now you know but um you know, are we talking about, you know, April, May, June, July, August, you know, at one point, you know, are we going to be entering different phases and, you know, when do those phases, you know, end uh, kind of thing. So I'd like to have that information too. Um, and then, oops, let's see here, going back to uh, phase two, uh, we've got the finalization website B2 and, and the pink sale pre-sale. We're looking, we've got a number of different things, you know, also taking place in phase two in regards to uh, their marketing. We've got pre-launch marketing. I'd like to know more details in regards to what that marketing is going to look like. Um, we've got a meme competition, giveaways. The applications, you know, for CoinMarketCap and CoinGecko are also taking place in phase two and the alpha launch as well. Phase three, we're looking at the beta launch. Um, let's see here, the NFT. We've got NFTs associated, you know, phase three, so game characters, weapons, and skins. Um, we've got a limited supply reveal on the full game launch in phase three. Partnership, you know, with health organizations, I think it's a good, you know, it's a good signal here. And then small tournaments streamed as well for NFTs and prizes. And then in phase four, we're looking at the introduction of ambassadors, full game launch MP on, um, 
on PC. Okay, the NFTs reveal in the major tournaments, console launch, and the more to come. So I do like the fact that they're introducing, you know, more to come to their phase four, which does indicate that they're going to be doing more innovation or updating, you know, of the roadmap, which is also helpful because we don't always see that with roadmaps. On the tokenomics, we're looking at an 8% buy tax and 10% sell tax. We see the breakdown of those taxes on each side, that 5% is going to marketing, 2% the prize pool, and 1% liquidity on the buy side, and then 5% going to marketing, 3% the prize pool, and 2% liquidity on the sell side. So the taxes here on 8 and 10% are pretty reasonable, much lower than what we see on some other projects, you know, where you're looking at, you know, 15, 16, you know, percent on both sides. We see, you know, as far as the team is concerned, we do have a docs team. We do see that when you hover over, you see a name, you see a title, um, and then just, you know, a really brief, you know, bio associated with each individual. I would like to see, you know, LinkedIn descriptions, you know, associated with each of these guys. But again, we do get a docs team, you know, with this particular project. And then we see some information here on how to go ahead and buy the token. And that would take us through the main page of the website on the light paper. Um, you know, there's some additional information, you know, but we're not really seeing, you know, a whole lot more than what we already saw, you know, on the um, you know, on the main page of the, on the main page of the website, and as you guys know, in regards to white papers, I tend to think they need to be a bit more technical, not just necessarily repeating the same information that we've already seen, you know, through uh, the main website. So, um, no huge red flags for me in regards to this project, you know. But as you know, just because we see good signals, it doesn't mean that it's guaranteed that, that anything positive is going to come out of the project. Uh, there are no guarantees, you know, in cryptocurrency. So, again, they're just, you know, there, there are no huge red flags, but it does not mean, it does not signal that this project is going to do well. So keep that in mind. I always encourage you guys to go and do your own research and so make sure that you do that. Don't just take what I'm saying, you know, as your biggest signal as this is something that you should get into. Because as you know, on this channel, we don't even encourage you to invest. So. Um, that's all I'm going to say in regards to punks and guns. Um, I'm going to go ahead and leave the links in the description. And like I said, we've seen the white paper. You know, the audit is going to be coming. It's there's no audit yet, so I mean that's kind of a flag for me, just because they can talk about getting an audit, but until they've got an audit, they don't have one, right? So, um, with that said, you know I appreciate you guys watching. If you like the video and the content, definitely go ahead and subscribe and turn on the notifications so that you are made aware of when I release new content to the channel. With that said, you guys enjoy the day.